Factor follow-up segment tonight, last night. Senator John McCain excoriated, word of the day, excoriated the protest group Code Pink. Senator believes, and videotape backs it up, that Code Pink got a little too close to 91-year-old Henry Kissinger in a protest last week in Washington. Here now to reply, the co-founder of that organization, Medea Benjamin. All right, Medea, I'll give you 30 seconds to, you know, defend the organization. Go. Well, first, let's be clear. We didn't physically assault anybody. These are plastic handcuffs. We were careful not to touch Henry Kissinger or anybody else there. This is using our First Amendment right to free speech. And I think the uh, O'Reilly factor should applaud that people care enough to get up there and do this kind of thing. It depends how you do it. I mean, George Schultz's wife says that one of your people uh, bumped into her. That's what she says. No. Uh, well, how do you know? I mean, there were a lot of people there. Because you don't know Look at the tape. Let's look at the tape. We certainly did do that. Right. We're peace activists, Bill. We don't hit people. Uh, anyway, and we don't McCain got wars. mad at you. Kissinger has a broken shoulder. He's 91 years old. You might have picked another target. Uh, I know you don't like Kissinger and the crew, but he's 91 with a bad shoulder, so I wouldn't have done it if I were you. But now I'm glad you're on so we can talk about something substantive. Um, you heard today that ISIS burned a Jordanian pilot to death, and I'm sure you know that they've massacred and slaughtered thousands of people. Code Pink, um, how do they, what's your group's uh, assessment? How would you stop all these murders from ISIS? We think that the U.S. invasion of Iraq that John McCain was such a uh, supporter of actually opened the way to the creation of ISIS. Okay, but we that doesn't US really matter now, does it? It does matter now because it shows the history that U.S. military intervention only creates more extremism. All right, we let's, have let's, allies let's like Saudi Arabia with, that are funding the you. extremists. We have allies like Turkey that are letting the extremists cross the border, that are sending weapons in. We should get our allies like the Turks and the Saudis to stop the recruits, stop the funding, and stop the weapons. Okay, so you're saying that the code pink strategy, to, you, you, you want to stop ISIS, right? You guys, even though you're peace people, you want to stop them, right? Well, because we're peace people, we want to stop okay, them. We want to stop, stop all okay. violence. That's what all we're violence. about. We're and about I, living at peace in the world. And they're leading the league in violence, uh, followed by the Taliban and al-Qaeda. So you want to stop them, but your strategy, Code Pink, is to get Turkey and Saudi Arabia to do it. No, it's to get all of the allies together to say, how can we stop the recruits? How can we stop the money? And how can we stop the weapons? Okay, that's a, but that's, that's a bit how theoretical, we isn't it? ISIS. Meantime, and then guys we support are getting their heads the groups cut off. in the country. Okay, but yes, it's, very, it's terrible, but U.S. intervention is making it worse because we've seen what intervention. Let's look what intervention has done, whether okay, but, but, it's but, but, in Medea, uh, Medea, in you got a Iraq, human being who set on fire today. All right, and you, you got, supported you got, the intervention in Libya. You supported intervention in Yemen. All of those have actually made ISIS stronger, al the Taliban stronger, Al Qaeda stronger, Boko okay. Haram. But you are stronger you're, because you're, of intervention. Okay, I don't buy any of that. But your philosophy today, after the man was burned to death, the Japanese guys were beheaded, the Americans were beheaded. Your philosophy today, code pink says get Turkey, Saudi Arabia, and other allies, All we all get into a big room and we figure out how to stop the recruiting. That's your solution. Or do I have it wrong? I said the recruiting, the funding, the, funding. the weapons, the sale of oil, all of that How, do you, how long do you think stopped. that would take? And the ones who can do the best work actually are our great friends, the Saudis, because it's their extremist Wahhabi ideology that is the okay, basis so we're, we're, of we're, we're, we're to depend on the Saudis to defeat ISIS and Al-Qaeda and the Taliban. They're the ones that have to do it. I think the best thing we could do is get our allies to stop funding them. That would be the number one thing okay. to do. And it's a little and to hard, Medea, since the funding goes all over the place. But all right, look, I'm glad you came on, and uh, we always want to hear what you have to say. Thanks, Medea. Thanks for having me sure. on. Sure.